but I mean, if you want to still talk like a normal human human being, you're free to do so. Reggie Gigas, ga 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 ga. Sorry, that works. <laughs> I I just I I I I uh, Navi was mimicking Reggie Gigas like tonight, and I was really I was laughing really oh, hard because I've never heard that cry before. The only, the only like cry that I have Pokemon from memory is uh, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know, Guzzlord. <laughs> yep. Love me some Guzzlord. Have you ever had a dream? <laughs> Oh my god, no. <laughs> Stop. Not like this. <laughs> Are we going on an Odyssey? One could say an Etrian Odyssey. <laughs> what the fuck does Etrian mean? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I remember back in my day, all our Odysseys were just lost. <laughs> God damn <laughs> Now we have Etrian Odyssey and Mario Odyssey. What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, I got my switch set up so we can like immediately like go too near like once I'm everybody gets here. Good. I've come prepared. All right. Uh, I just got it posted, so if you want to tweet that out, and then... I am doing it. We can start. Which... Hello, everyone! It's been far too long since I last streamed. Uh, about a week, I think? How Maybe do I longer? Spell that tree, <laughs> I would just copy and paste what I put in the, uh... <laughs> in the announcements. Uh, how do I spell Odyssey? There oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I actually I spelled Etrian right. It just it wouldn't. It doesn't. Yep. It's not a word apparently. It's not, sadly. But we're gonna play a little bit of Etrian Odyssey four. This is gonna be the game that I stream once I'm able to stream on Friday on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. As of right now, because of work, I can't stream on those days anymore for the time being. So yeah. That's been fun. Sounds like a time. Time and a half. Ha <laughs> ha! Overtime uh, joke. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're treated. We're good. Let me get Twitch up on my end, and then I'll be ready for this. Alright. So, I know nothing about Etrian Odyssey except the fact uh, it has great music. That's it. So, I would say the one big draw to this game is the, uh, is the pretty much creating your own map for the dungeons. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, that was like its thing. You couldn't get this anywhere else unless you were playing like an old, like, 1980s game and you were doing what you're doing in this game but on paper i s i see you'll understand more as it goes along uh-huh but uh yeah that was pretty much like this game's claim to fame was just making maps <laughs> and you like calligraphy and this is this the game for you no, not calligraphy. Uh, cartography. Uh, cartography, that's it. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Do you want to transfer your data from the demo? What? Uh, oh, yeah, this had a demo, and depending on how far you got, you could, like, just transfer your data and keep going from there. Oh, I wonder how far the... Okay, uh, difficulty. I, I heard these games weren't exactly easy. Not particularly easy, no. somewhat easier casual mode is somewhat easier that frightens me yeah oh wow 
Does it have a merciless mode? <laughs> no, uh, actually, I would think merciless is normal. Uh, well, a Atlas games when they're not Persona are kind of hard. Yep. But the good thing too is that if we do get stuck, we can change the difficulty at any time. Thank God. A pressure-filled, intense adventure. Yes. Exit at your own risk. Yep. <laughs> Alright. The outland city of Tharsis, in the uncharted territory beyond the city, stands a giant tree called Yeg... <laughs> <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. It's, it's uh, Yigdril. Yigdril. Um... Legends say something sleeps within Yagdrasil that calls people to internal paradise. It is called... What is that thing in Xenoblade 2 called? Uh... <laughs> is it Isl Is Isalem? Isalem? Oh, uh, Is Elysium. Elysium! Yes. Okay. In order to ascertain that. the truth of this legend, the court of the Count of Teresa, Te Tharsis. Tharsis? Tharsis. Issued a challenge across the land. Reach Yggdrasil and uncover the truth. The summons has drawn countless explorers to the sea. You are among their number. Oh my god, this literally is like D&D. Yeah. Correct. Oh. Wow, okay. You are among their number. A pilgrim to the city with little to your name, but a blade and boundless curiosity. I need to channel, I'm going to channel my Mount Matt Mercer. All right. Here for this. Okay. Nevertheless, you aim to solve the mystery of Yagdrasil and win fame and fortune. Ooh. All right. So uh. we're gonna make a guild. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Bye. Left. <laughs> so you are a new explorer. Welcome to Tharsis. This is the Explorer's Guild, where your kind pools their talents. It's something like a mutual aid society. You now, must die. <laughs> you must die. <laughs> now, if you want to operate in this city as an explorer, you have to be part of a guild. What if I don't want to? Oh, so you rather create your own rather than joining someone else's. Then write a name in that ledger. Though your guild will be your whole identity in Tharsis, so think it over and care think it over carefully before deciding on a name. Oh, I I'm so glad you're the one picking the names. I would I would be really bad at this. Street Pass is gonna know what I like. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I wonder if there is a way I can... Give me one second. I'm going to try something real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Oh! I can swap screens. Wow. So, what should we name our guild? Good question. If anybody has any ideas in the chat, we're free to take them as well. Um. Big bottom boots. I don't know. <laughs> I would have to abbreviate that. <laughs> uh, I remember, we. I remember we said booty squat, but we can't type that. It's too. We don't have enough. We don't have enough space. Um, I kind of wish I could take a name from a stream I saw of uh, the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. They were called the Ass Eaters. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the hell did what? Is, uh, I don't remember what she called it, but I remember Buns called the Persona Five protag Eggs McTitties. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what she called the Phantom Thief. So I'm gonna be um, honest with you. Whenever I do names like this, I usually default to Foxhound for some weird reason. I mean, it fits. It kind of does. I don't care, really. I just, I can't think of anything funny. All right. Um, I mean, Fox sounds good. 
No, I wouldn't even work. <laughs> uh, ass, ass. Oh, let me see here. How many? Oh, so we have five. After ass, ass it would be five. Ass, eight ers. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of eaters, it's eighters. We ate ass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighters. <laughs> <laughs> Ass to eat! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'll take it! Is this name is that... acceptable? <laughs> is it? Yes. Alright, <laughs> let me switch back. Uh, let me see. Okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the Ass Eaters Guild! I see, you went with a great name! Very well. Here's hoping you can live up to the name. <laughs> I what? hope I can too. <laughs> We're chopping, baby. We're oh chopping boy. At the bit. <laughs> More like chopping at the ass. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna eat the ass of so many creatures. You'll... No one is. No one is safe. No one. You'll want this. <laughs> it's a letter of introduction that will give you an audience with the count. Uh Okay. Next, you'll need to explore the. Uh, you'll need to register the explorers you want in the Ass Eaters Guild and form an adventuring <laughs> party into Ass. It's up to you who to recruit, but you can't go wrong with a balanced party. You can register yourself, of course. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let me switch the screen again. Oh, God, have mercy. Oh, this is going to be a good night. <laughs> yeah, it is. So this is what we have access to right now. <clears throat> All right. So we got your heavy melee attackers on the front line, the Lanschnet. Lanschnet! We have the special attackers who work on either line, the Night Seeker. Mm. Mm. Knives and... Mm. I like me some knives. We have the fortress, the defense <laughs> specialist on either line. Ah, baby, they call me the fortress. <laughs> the, the sniper, ranged attackers who work on the back okay. line. Ranged attackers, okay. And we have the medics. We we might need one. Yes, I think we need at least one medic. Let's go with one medic. And let's see, we got the Rune Masters, they're elemental attackers. Mm -hmm. And then we have dancers. Hmm. Mm. So, let's see. I, I feel like, so, we would need the medic, of course. Yes. Um, I'm going to do it side by side so that way we get a good look at everything for now. Okay. Um,. I feel like we need one melee person at least. Oh, definitely. Um, a a some sort of magic caster, and then the second one, the fourth one, can be uh anything really. Yeah. Now we can have a max of five people in a party. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with this one right here, the land. I, I have I have our theme. You ready for it? Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm not... I haven't done it yet. Dab, pause, damn you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, all right. I have to switch. Hold on. Oh, boy. All right. Here is... Do I need to Our... turn off the music? No, no. This will be fine. Okay. Mm. <laughs> hey, you know, we got... <laughs> so... <laughs> Do we want to make this land snack a man or a woman? Uh, that's up to you. Okay. i say it would be a good combo to have, like, Two of each. Two right. of each. Yeah. What do we want to name them? 
So this is our, like, swordsman? Yeah. Ski. Ski of Ona. Because Ski of Ona is legit a sword. Oh. Uh. It fits! Yeah! <laughs> Amazing. Would you like to register this character? Yes. But yeah, yeah, Ski of Ona is a sword. Alright. Okay, right, so let's do one medic. Oh. Alright. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh. I'll be the medic. Okay. So pick me a cute boy. How does this look? I'll do. That is the boy, right? Yes. At least. Okay. I think so. Oh, God, what would my name be? Uh, just do dark. Usually I put in my real name, but I ain't doing that on a Twitch stream. Yeah. I think my real name is really cute, but dark will do. Okay, so we need, uh, maybe one magic user from, like, the bottom, and then a ranged fighter. Yes. So, like, either a Rune Master or a Dancer will do. Whichever one you think. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? It, do it does kind of look like Shiny. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Chris? Hey, Chris! Yep, I, I kind of wanted to play this game for a bit. And I figure tonight's just as good as any night. And then later um, on, we're probably going to play some more near. Yeah, I, I'm new to this game because I've, I've never played it. Uh, but I like its music. Because uh, Yozo Koshiro does amazing music. And now we need, say, a range fighter. Like a sniper. Or that thing that throws knives. Yes. So, whatever one. Love the way that dude looks. It looks so funny to me. Ah, so you're gonna be the sniper. Yep. Okay. That is not at all how you play Gundam Evolution. You go straight for the Pale Rider. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right the so dingus. we have one more we can do if it was me i'd probably do the fortress okay so that way we have like a tank at the front line kind of like soaking in all the damage sounds good to me who will be the fortress Hmm. I like the purple dude. Purple dude has a lot of attitude. <laughs> hey, can... they use like a morning star? Yeah, they they can use a maze. Jesus! I'm thinking like maybe Altura? Well, I'll take it. Yeah, we're we're naming um the characters off of our friends. Because yeah. that's what you do in this type of game. And then later on, when we make more party members, we can base them off of anyone. Even people in chat. This is why I don't play Metopia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me change this back real quick. Good idea. Let's see. Yes, we are playing this on our factual correct 3DS. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can't you tell? I mean, anyone can do what I just did right there. <laughs> yes. All right. You let just me... need some, some like, <laughs> some screwdrivers, some, some, some pickaxe, and a whole lot of electrical engineering know-how, and praying. Lots and lots of praying. Yes. 
sets. Oh, you can have two classes, I bet. Okay. I, I, so I played Final Fantasy V, so I get how class systems work. Yeah. Then I play D and D, so like this is very. Yeah. Let's see. Put me in the back. Like a little coward I am. <laughs> In fact, it's kind of the opposite of how I play Gundam Evolution, because I'm literally the only one on the FUCKING POINT! Guess you've made your party, then. In that case, go to the Grand Court and pay your respects to the Count. Le Count? I'll be the Count. Okay. Uh, have you ever- oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. This is the count? Yes. <laughs> well, you must be more explorers taking up the search for Yggdrasil. No problems finding the Count's uh, trust. Welcome to Tharsis, the city closest to Yggdrasil. I am its overseer. You may call me the Outland Count. Here in my Grand Court. Where there are important duties to be carried out, I assign them to explorers as missions. But of all the explorers who arrive in Tharsis like yourselves, we want only the best for Hunt of uh, Yggdrasil. Before you can set out on your search, you must prove yourself worthy as explorers. What say you to this? How should I respond? <laughs> that's, that's up to you, my dear. Okay. Ah, yes. Very reasonable of you. And that case, simply accept the mission I have offered and prove your skills. Hi, 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 hi. Head to the old forest mine to the west and find an indiscreet or bring it to me and I'll officially. Okay. We must find the ore. I'd like you to head to the old force mine on the outskirts of the city and excavate some decent ore. Watch out for the pores who work there. <laughs> <laughs> we had thought the vein was mined dry by the poor, <laughs> but the other day, a certain explorer found that it was more to be had there because apparently we don't pay the poor enough to mine it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the indecent ore is a pretty thing. Shine light on it and refracts it onto all the colors of the rainbow. But its true worth is not found in its beauty. It's in found in its price I will sell it for. <laughs> oh Though I'll explain more about it when you complete the mission. Now, do you I understand right that you have only recently arrived in Vastus? You must lack the proper essentials. So I'll pay half of the reward for your mission in advance. Use that to purchase whatever you need. 500 okay. English. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm have... sorry. <laughs> it is a paltry amount. <laughs> The old forest mine is the perfect place for you to start, I mean, test your skills. You need all your strength and cutting there. Damn right. I mean, if I play my cards wrong, I could die in the first battle. <laughs> you could. Once you're ready, head to the city gates and I'll have a sort of rating to escort you there. Best of luck. Okay. My name is Colonel Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since we're the only two people here, I'm gonna have to work overtime for the fucking acting. Yep. Who is this? This is the shopkeeper. I ain't never seen you guys before. Are you damn new swords that came to dodge me the other day? The <laughs> ass. <laughs> oh my god. 
Well, hey, welcome to Bernard Elsia for all of your weapons and item needs. Our most of your needs, anyway, is it kind of depends on the materials you explorers folks tell us. The more. <laughs> The volcano is the stuff you touch. <laughs> Spit. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I've, from what I've seen, oh wait. Woo! if you really yeah. wanted to make a bunch of characters, take their equipment, sell it, and dismiss them afterwards, it feels holy shit. How come I never thought of doing that? Mm. Mm. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Whew. Okay. We'll sell yes. We got a list posted of what kind of equipment we can make. So if you see something you want, bring us the stuff. One well, nice to meet you. Give us a ring whenever you need something for your adventure. I feel like the perfect I person went... for this is probably Ski. <laughs> oh, like the, the Brooklyn accent? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ghostbusters, how can I help you? <laughs> mm. Ooh, this is bopping. Mm. Woo! Actually, I may need Living to in this, this yeah. to... Give me a second. I might need to change the screen settings because I actually do have to draw on the touch screen for this game. So I might just keep it like this. That's fine. I can see it. Okay. You ever had a sword? So let me change it's some short. things around real quick. I'm gonna hit people with the sword. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Hitting people with a sword. Huh. Okay. Have you ever... Sorry. <laughs> no, I've just... I should have figured this all out beforehand. Ah! Well, we only have to do it once. Yeah. Okay. Now, where was I? Mm. Are you trying a sword? The classic Dark Souls staple. Oh, okay, no. Does he already have a weapon? They all have daggers. They all have really shitty weapons. <laughs> oh. Can you can you buy anything that is not a sword? I could buy a light mace. Ah, oh, that would be good for fortress. Or uh, Dora, yeah. I'm probably not gonna call them by the names. I'm gonna call them by the class usually. Okay. Because I will forget. I know, even though they're friends of my names, I will forget their names. <laughs> okay, he's going to keep the dagger. Oh, can't, can't buy anything for him? Not right now. Can you buy a wood bow? Um... Uh, give me the cutest one! Uh, you kind of got to stick with the dagger, too. <laughs> How am I gonna heal you? Very carefully. Look at my cute face. Does this does this look like I can stab a dude? Do I look like I can stab a dude? Well, you're gonna have a hat. I'm gonna have a, I got a pretty hat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it at people. And I'm gonna get you thick gauges. What are gauges? Oh, gloves. Yes. Damn, I'm gonna be fucking fabulous, and I'm gonna die in the first dungeon because I only have a fucking dagger. The, the people will be able to steal my clothes off of me. <gasps> With, for my dead corpse. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna die. Gonna so fucking die. His shield is taller than he is. And we're broke. Okay! <laughs> but yeah, I will probably do what Chris said later on. Like, off stream and probably start, like, 
getting a bunch of people in my group and selling off all their crap and then uh, just making money that way. It's up to you. So, let's see. You are here for father and nothing else. Cannon fire to meet shields. We're gonna save real quick before we enter the labyrinth. Oh, it's a fucking... Oh, hello. Welcome, Bay. Oh, oh my, I think this is our first meeting, actually. Are you new explorers? Welcome to the Seven Inn. Last of our explorers use this place as a base between excursions. If you get hurt or tired, come back here and get a good rest. And I'll make you a pot of rat stew. <laughs> we, we have a clinic in the back, too. You're welcome to use it if you have any ailments or wounds to treat. Like death. Yes. You can save. Did you actually save? Yeah, that's how fast it was. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. All right. Let Let's go, Kai. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, die. So this is where we go to use our skill points. And we always start with three for every character. This really is just fucking D&D. &D. Okay, so... I, I, honestly, I, I do not care. Uh... Because I, I have no, I, I I don't have no idea what any of these skills do. So just like, oh, I'm gonna do all this. Have at so. it. Have it. <laughs> have at it. Yeah. Mineralogy. Yeah. So they will get different passive skills that allow them to gather things out on the field. It's so. like Zeta Blade too, but not bullshit. Yes. As someone who likes Zeta Blades, you do not hate the Zeta Blade crowd, but like seriously, Jesus. Ugh. Ooh, Ice Rune, Vault Rune, Runic Glee. Let's see. Increases the power of your magical attack skills for three turns. Ooh, that's a good skill. Let's... That's a good skill to get once we have a actual skill first. Yes. Let's go ahead and start with the Fire Rune. Fire! Cross fire! You'll get caught up in the... <sighs> so this is our tank, dude, okay. Yes. Oh, you can taunt. Okay, that'll be good to have. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. And then he'll eventually learn auto taunt. Oh, so he'll start the battle, right? Yep. A skill that'll allow you to enter a battle prepared. And here we got the sniper. Dendrology. Uh, let's see. Leg snipe. Yeah. Aim so for the leg. The kind of uh, the kind of cool thing about this is that you can actually aim for different monsters' points, and then like mm. you can disable them in certain ways. Like uh, if mm. you disable their arms, they won't be able to use attacks that would normally require their arms. And then if you snipe their legs, they might have a. Uh, like, pretty much a way of not moving for a couple turns. I see. Oh, I forgot to change that. I thought I could change that. Wait, did you do? I meant to put Twitch chat right there so people could see it. Uh huh. There we go. Da 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 da. Lung shot. Hmm. I'm gonna do leg snipe for now. As we level up, we'll get more skill points, and then we can mm -hmm. start like yeah. filling out all of this. Yeah. And the medic, uh, make me a uh, QS heavy strike. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's a mace and staff skill. You you will eventually get access to maces. Hell yes. So you'll be like I a will. combat medic. You don't fuck with the white mage. Because if I die, you aren't getting back up. <laughs> yeah, everybody's dying. You're the Asir's yeah. Guild, right? I'm here from the Outland Court. Before we leave, you're sure you're ready for this. Whatever nope. skills you have are useless if not trained. And then this will tell us about the fact that I just used the three skill points. Ain't it fun? I got you. So what'll it be? 
Should we head straight for the old forest mine? <clears throat> All right, then. Follow me. Welcome to Zag. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm in love. Mm. Oh, I've heard this song before. Mm. It's kind of weird that my map isn't showing up. Hmm. I'm kind of worried. Oh, is the second screen's not showing up at all, is it? And it's not. Hmm. That's weird. Well. As you explore the forest in search of iridescent ore, you notice that you've stepped on something. Uh-oh. You pick it up and see that it is a shining golden locket with a space for a small picture inside. Could another explorer have dropped this? If you are curious, you can try opening the locket. Open. Just as you're wondering what to do with the locket, someone speaks to you from behind. Oh, here we go. Found that for me, did you? Thanks! I've been looking all over for it. Man. Sup, my name is Greg. You turn to see a sleepy looking man with a sack over his shoulder. His attire marks him as a fellow explorer. You hand over the locket to the man, who seems to be a friendly sort. He asks the name of your guild. Me, I'm Woodwind, he says. No, that really is just a nickname. Nice meeting you, uh, Ass Eaters Guild. You really named yourself that? <laughs> yeah, you're in for some interest in ore, right? Yeah, I think there's still some by the by the old forest mine. You know that one. How do I know? Because I'm the one who found it in the first place. Here, maybe this will help. The man take a. The man takes a parchment from his belongings and hands it to you. I sketch in when you can find the iridescent ore. I hope that helps point you in the right direction. Hmm, the map's only half done? Well, that makes this a great chance to learn to draw your own, fucker. <laughs> With that, the man points to the blank map you've opened and explains how to draw in it. Let's see if this works. Hallelujah! The dungeons it in this game hurts. have a complex and winding layouts. Fortunately, you can map them on your bottom screen. Try and reproduce the walls and floors as you walk around the dungeon. Your map is an invaluable survival tool. Don't lose it! And this shows you how to actually use the map. Have you ever drawn a square? God damn it. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time. I knew you would. <laughs> I this is this music. I've heard this music before, but goddamn, this is good. I know. Holy shit! This dungeon music in this game is so goddamn good. The man laughs, though you are not sure this is a joking matter. But seriously, you need to learn to draw a map. You're going to chase Yagdrasil. The map's your lifeline. Have you ever played a sign hill? When you think you're done with your map of this old forest mine, bring it here and I'll look it over for you. I'll be at the entrance. The man then parts with you and walks back the way he came. You glance at the map he gave you and decide to begin your search anew. This is so good music. Uh, oh, I see. You draw the the walls. Then. Yep. Okay. That helps. A Can't wait till we actually find something. A small crevice is visible in the wall before you. Perhaps a person may fit through. However, it appears to be impassable from this side. Well, shit. Can't go that way. Oh, another thing too, 
uh, the thing on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. That lets you know you're about to get into a battle. The red it gets. The, the, like, the circle? Yes. Ah, so, yes. I, yeah, okay. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> uh, they've used that since, uh, Nocturne. I kind of like it because it lets you know you're about to get into a battle. Yeah. Oh, we're about to. Yep. Ooh, circle. As you proceed down the forest path, you eventually reach a fork in the road. Across the water, you see a shining patch of ground. It seems something is buried shallowly. Shallowly is reflecting light. Judging, road. judging by the map you received from Whirlwind, the iridescent ore you seek can be mined there. Ooh. But the water between you and the prize is too deep to cross. You frown and begin looking for another route. Damn it. Well. Well, let's keep going. No, no, no. Yes. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Aww. That's Don't. such a great battle theme, but I only heard it for like a second. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Half Don't. the reason I wanted, I have the reason I was interested in playing this game with Moogs is because the battle theme is really good. Don't worry, the battles are gonna get longer. Oh, I love it. I also want to warn you that since I played this game before, I, I'm pretty, like, anal about the maps. You're getting it just right. It's fine. We're fighting a grass eater. Oh, the ass eater versus the grass eater. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm dying. <laughs> 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 the grass eater versus the ass eaters that's what you should name this episode part one grass eater versus the ass eater oh my god I'm dying <laughs> oh oh yeah it changed okay let's see uh hey. We're already lost in this is the first dungeon. No. Now, he did say that he wants me to kind of map out the area. Whirlwind. Ah, okay. So. Oh, okay. So you're doing a job. Okay, good. I'm, I guess you could say, oh, as you suddenly as... put one foot in front of the other, you gradually become aware of a dread presence. That terrified me. Whoa. Oh. It's a... A monstrous baboon slowly approaches from the other end of the path with cruelty on its face. Why does it have an afro? I have no idea. You know that there's no shame in avoiding unnecessary combat. A wise explorer picks his battles. If you I... wish to avoid a an encounter, study the monster's movements and slip past it. Mm. This is an FOE. And it pretty much tells you its threat level, so that way you know if you can actually take it or not. Uh-huh. So it's like, you're gonna die, red. You're gonna absolutely die. Yeah, it's like, uh, if it's red, how it's blinking right now, you're dead. If it's yellow, you might live. If it's blue, you, you might be it. okay. Right now, I think we'll, uh, not go near that. <laughs> FOEs will also move once for every turn that passes in battle. Be aware of their position during combat. Oh yeah, so say like if I get caught right here in a battle, every turn that 
that happens, he will move ahead one square. So I need oh, so to either... even if it's not just battle, it's it, it is a battle. But like if you're getting fight with a creature, yeah, it'll, it will Oh, that's terrifying. Ah! Don't worry. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. Everything is great. Are we Gucci? Yes. And he shouldn't be following us. Alright. Oh. oh! Eh. Is okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I did that wrong. Whoops. What? Oh, this is just a dead end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten AM Oh boy, oh, ten AM You step into an open clearing in the forest and encounter a soldier standing to one side. The soldier, upon noticing you, hails you with a friendly wave. Hi there, here on a mission. I came to investigate this place, but honestly, all these baboons are wearing me out. Aren't you tired too? Tell him that you're tired? When you reply honestly that you are feeling some fatigue, the soldier smiles and hands you a tonic. You're a gift. Think that and you'll feel better. But if it turns thing if things turn sour, don't hesitate. Go back to Tharsis. You thank the soldier, but he holds up a hand to ward off any praise. Good luck out there, he says, and leaves. Medica. You stow the tonic in your knapsack and pick up your explorations where you'd left off. So, medicas are like potions. Uh huh. Uh, I, uh, that was much. Ooh. Let's see. When you open the door, you see an open clearing past it. If your map is accurate, then the iridescent ore can be mined at that shining spot ahead. But have care. The wandering beasts will hunt you mercilessly, even while you mine for minerals. Press the A button where the ground sparkles to take, chop, or mine valuable raw materials. There is a limit to how many times you can take, chop, or mine a point per day. But the limit re resets the next day. Make good use of these skills during your adventures. Oh. Welcome to the fun part. Mama. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Everything is gonna be just fine. I'm scared. Me too. Okay. Oh, I see how this works. Oh, there we go. At last, you have mined the iridescent ore you have came from. Your mission is now complete. The ore won after many tense moments near powerful monsters. 
is lighter than you'd imagine and feels fragile. After you finish exulting in your accomplishment, you stow the shining stone and begin your trek back. Well, you want to follow them? Tonka line it up? Well, I want to get into a battle first so that way I don't. Uh huh. There we go. Okay, we need to heal. Stop. It's your boy, DJ Healing. I probably should have asked this before. Uh, does everything sound all right? Is the game okay? Are we coming in clear? It sounded fine when I was listening to it. Let me listen to it again. Talk. Uh, okay. Chris says we're doing all right. Thank you. Oh, this is all boil. Okay. Uh, Surrounded by a has been exhausted. Alright. Now, let's get out of here. I wonder about Jet sometimes. Me too. We gotta make a character for him. We will. Ooh. Treasure chest? Yep. Oh! Let's see. Where I'm is... in love. Huh, that's weird. I thought there was, uh... What about the yellow switches? ones? This? No, no, go back. Second one. Uh, uh... The fourth on the... Yes, that one. Oh, that's what is a... that? That is an airship. Oh. Hmm. Or Could actually, be that. Let me see what'll happen if I just, uh... Yeah, let's try that. While exploring, you come across a large box. Would you like to open it? Is it going to be a mimic? Oh, I got a medica. Can you go forward again? E for empty. Yeah. Ah! Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, not that. Uh, looks like I got everything. I think you're pretty good. Oh, Except that. Yep. Let me get down here. Oh, also there's that path down there too. Then the path of the angry gorilla. Oh, yeah. As you explore the mine, you find a fan-shaped plant at a dead end. Ooh. This is a plant called a Traveler's Friend, prized by explorers by the way it stores water in its stalks. Hmm. If you're thirsty, you can nibble at the stalk, though if you are wary of monsters, you may wish to leave. More out of curiosity than actual thirst, you decide to nibble the stalk of the Traveler's Friend. The water stored within has a raw smell to it but it helps to alleviate some of your exhaustion. Oh, that's neat. Satisfied with the forest's modest gift, 
you turn back to resume your explorations. Only then do you realize that terrible insects have gathered, clicking their jaws menacingly at you. Ah! The brief sucker was well timed. You take your weapons hand to ha <laughs> weapons to hand and prepare for battle. Let's fight! Oh Jesus! I have a lot of bugs. Sonic raid! Na na na! Did you? Leg snipe. I'm gonna hit something. Whoa! <laughs> that I think missed. <laughs> Uh, ha, ha. Oh! oh boy. No, we're not we're not dead yet. Okay. Alright, we're all level two. You live it up! There are many appealing things to draw your attention in the forest, <clears throat> but do not be blind to the danger. You take that thought to heart and resume your search with even more care than before. All right. When do we get... Uh, uh, uh. When do we get the zappy umbrella? The what? <laughs> you need to watch the Adventure Zone. I know. I need to watch a lot of things. Well... The reason why I say that is because the DMD a campaign I did with Navi, um, Ski, and the the departed uh, Morning uh. Glory, um, uh, was heavily, if not the same campaign for um, the Avengers Zone, and I remember that you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. There's a small crevice in the wall before you. You might oh get through, but you would be unable to come back. Proceed. I'm I'm glad they thought of that. All right. So let me take one more look at my map. There's, There's... a thing at the bottom. Yep. There's two things at the bottom. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Touch grass, touch grass. Oh! I love the I love the noise like a what? Yeah, I think Ooh, they kept the same God. sound effects from the DS original. Hmm. Oh, so it just... Okay, I see how this goes. As you walk cautiously through the forest mine, you notice an old wooden sign at the side of the path. Did Ooh. another explorer leave this? The sign begins, CAUTION, in large bolded letters. You read further. That bodes well. From here on lurk monsters of the old mine. Those who mistake recklessness for courage will meet death. That's fun. I like this. I I would I, I if I played this when I was like when I had a 3DS, I would be in love with this game, I think. Oh yeah. I actually a friend in college uh, like turned me on to this game. Mhm. Mm and I, that's well, other why... than the entrance. I think you're good. I think you're right. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh. Oh no.
Miss. What's going on? Nicely done. All right. Let's find him again. Should be at the entrance. I see. I thought. Yeah, this map is done. Let's let's just go. Right. You check your knapsack again to make certain the iridescent ore you put away is still there. The final step before completing your mission will be to visit the Grand Court and report your find. Done, members of the Ass Eaters Guild. I've seen you brought back a fine sample of the iridescent ore. I now pronounce the Ass Eaters Guild to be explorers of fastest my official blessing. And of course, there's the other half of your war to be given. Here you are then. Five dollars. Oh, level up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Right. This is to give you a lot of experience. Then. Wow. Yep. Now to the main topic of discussion. Since you have proven your worth, your guild merits a skash. It's a vessel that sails the skies, powered by even this ore. You'll be me searching for Yundasil on one. Your skyship is ready now in the city gate. Would you claim it? Why not make the lush woodlands your first step? The lush woodlands is a large natural labyrinth currently being investigated by many of our explorers. Once you reach the lush woodlands, head straight for the pillar of light you'll see. It's an invaluable tool. Oh, and stop by the Altair. Before you go, I sent them my authorization for you to buy certain necessities. Well then, may you, may your way be clear and your ass eaten. <laughs> <laughs> As you're about to step into the busy city square after reporting in on your mission, someone calls to you. Out it, please. Oh, something. <laughs> Amanda, please. Um, I have a message to you for the Outland Court. The soldier takes. The, the soldier takes a moment to catch his breath before pulling out a letter and reading it over. It says he will be giving you a full food pulp. I'm guessing this equipment for your sky ship. Maybe that's why he can't give it to you by hand. I it said it's been delivered to the castle gates. And you should ask the one in charge there for details. A food -a pole? Yes. The fuck? The soldier apologizes for delaying you and nods currently before leaving. Out of my way. Hey, y'all. Congrats on finishing that mission. A guy from the Grand Court told us nice going. And now I can finally sell y'all dim. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's Aradain threads. Uh, ra uh, Radne threads. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's boy's got to have an Aradne thread. Makes you back to Thirsis, whatever you use it from. You ought to buy one right now. I better be a disaster if you forget. When I, when I was born, we didn't have no Aradne threads. Ooh. Aradne threads are used by the left to control our... <laughs> what the... <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. Don't say... Alright. Okay. 
Alright. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright. Okay. A pants... A pants snatcher. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into the fandom of Vetrian Odyssey. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm here for it, man. I think I'm gonna N wait. Nerdy! Yeah, I'm gonna wait to upgrade. Maybe get some armor. Yes. Yes, armor. You want some nice threads? When I was young, we used dirt as armor. <laughs> oh. I'm goblin. All right. Uh. Bye. We're going to stay the night. Good idea. Uh. Excuse me. It's funny how fast this game saves. Mm. It might be because of the emulator. It might be. <gasps> uh, I mean, I mean, uh, we just have we have the 3DS uh, XL, the new 3DS XL, which I forgot was a thing. Let's see. Oh, we have two skill points. Land snicked. I I thought that said something else, not bandage. Ugh. Um, Vanguard? Power break? Ooh, power breaks might be a good idea. I remember I had that on um What the fuck is his name from nine? Uh, wait, Final Fantasy Nine? Yeah. Hmm. I can't. Try I'm gonna look it up because I it's gonna bar to me. It's the knight in Final Fantasy Nine. I can't oh. remember his name. Uh, I'm looking it up. Steiner. Yes, Albert Steiner. I was like, it's Stein something. It was just Steiner. Yeah, I had power break on him. I used it. I'm gonna save again real quick since I did that. Mm -hmm. I love it just go. <laughs> There's like a whole little nice musical interlude while you're saving, and uh, it just gets cut just short because it's just so fast. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, is this the guy? Yeah, he he's the guy who uh, I think oh, okay. like takes care of our ship. Oh, I was I was wondering with the guy at the map. Okay, hey, you're the ass eaters. You're right. I got a request from the Outland Court to prepare your sky ship. She's all ready to go. You can set sail as soon as she's registered. So what are you gonna name her? What are we gonna name our sky ship? Um. Well, I could think of a couple ones, but. They're all video game related, like the High Wind, uh, the Hildegard Three, the Enterprise, uh, the Enterprise. <laughs> um, I don't know, uh, uh, Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> that don't fit. Um, the Big Chungus. <laughs> yes, name it Big Chungus. 
This is my five ship. Big, it's gonna be big chunk. Big, <laughs> big snug. How do you? Eh, this is big snug. Big chunk. <laughs> I'll have a personality of his own. This is my five ship. Big chunk. <laughs> no, it's not acceptable. Ah, um, of the big chunk, eh? Uh, got it. Uh, I'll take care of the paperwork. I make the ship myself, so take care of her. I'll explain the controls, but y'all learn fast if you try it out. Crash it into a couple cliffs. <laughs> um, which reminds me, you got a piece of a kit from the Island Corp, right? You can equip it on your sky ship. Come by the wharf when you're bored, and I'll let you guys have some other equipment no one else is using. The cargo wharf might not seem like the place to explore, but that's where you'd be wrong. I'll explain what I mean when you stop by. I'll be waiting. All right, so let's depart on the sky ship. Oh boy. Let's see, a catapult remodeled to fire bait. The modifications oh. make it useless <clears throat> as a weapon. It fires bait? Yes. Because okay. uh, there's going to be FOEs while we're trying to get to the uh, labyrinth that we need to dodge. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, 3D! <clears throat> the skyship you have christened Big Chung rises from the city gates. As you would expect from the windy plains, strong gusts of wind blow across the skies. Some of the stronger winds seem to likely <laughs> seem likely to sway the Big Chung from her course. <laughs> Far from the north of the skies looms Yggdrasil, your ultimate destination. But you will never reach it without under understanding how to control your skyship. You review the controls. Uh, press the dot to uh. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that particular part in e in uh, Odyssey three, but uh, I all I kind of assumed it was like a side thing. I thought you still went through like the labyrinth as normal, so mm. that's good to know. While your objective is uh, your objective while sailing the skies is to discover unknown lands while filling out your sky chart. Huh. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, we can cook too. Ooh. I've been playing a lot of the Tales of Bizarre, which that has an autocoat function. Oh yeah, that's right. Most of the Tales of games kind of do after Symphonia, if I recall correctly. Yeah, basically, if you have enough things, you cook food after battle. Ah. Uh. And the effects of that go into the next battle. And I like it. The map you received from the wharf master shows Tharsis, as well as the lush woodlands the Count spoke of. You could head straight for that natural labyrinth, but it might be wise to have a look around first. But be on your guard. Encounters with monsters and tornadoes could cost you your lives. Ah, Tennessee. You're not wrong. Oh, we, we we do move. Okay. Do you have to do the map for this too? You don't have to. No. Okay, I was just curious. Fish. Ooh. A baby carrot. I got some baby carrots. Is there? Why is there a fish icon? Oh, because that's a uh, that's an area where I can fish. Oh. Okay. Like. Uh... Oh, some trout. Good. Some traps. Hell, we ain't an eye, boy! So we can go in here. You see a small forest to the west of Tharsis. It's the old forest mine where you found your iridescent ore. There you met the traveling adventure Whirlwind, who gave you a blank map and survival advice. You cannot say for certain that there's nothing yet left to ex discover there. Perhaps you should visit it again. Hmm. I like this. 
I like this design, I think. I really enjoy this game. I think I would. I would absolutely enjoy this if I played it myself. I feel like I've explored this map to its fullest. Yeah, we just don't know where the guy is. The only things left here to do are kill the things. Yeah. And but we ain't doing that for a while, I don't think. Not really. Is that a bird? Yes. Why are the birds? Ooh, they're duck. Hmm. You ever had duck? I feel like I've had it once. Hmm. Buffalo? You ever had bison? No. I had a bison burger. If you ever come around where I live, we're gonna t I'm gonna take you to a place that sells bison burgers. It sounds pretty good. It's like beef, but like not as tender. Oh. Oh, but it's really good. It's just a bit gamier beef, but it's interesting. It does sound good. There's another food I wanted to try, uh, but is? I think it's way too expensive. What is it? Wagyu. Oh, yes, it's expensive. But There's a ship it's out like, there. Ooh, hello? There's a sky ship up ahead, which is unfamiliar to you. Its sails are deep blue. The figure aboard the sky ship notices you're coming and emerges from the gondola. You mark him as a man clad in steel armor who bows politely to you. A man? I do not believe we have properly met before, guild ass eaters. My name is, um, Kurjanin. Kurjanin? I am the most lowly of the holy knights who serve king, oh my god. Uh, Bjornstund. Bjorno. It's not delivery, it's Bjorno. <laughs> uh, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. How do I know of you? Oh, I am familiar with the most of uh, the explorers of Tharsis. That is all. Cure Jonan boasts. By the by, I have a request. Would you have any sakura trouts? If so, I propose a trade. But you have no sakura, sakura trouts. From what you have heard, the food must be delivered within three days. Should you find a sakura trout at some point, you can present it. Possibly for some sort of reward. Hmm. So we just have to remember that. Yep. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Is that a forest? You reach the northern that... ends of the windy plains. What the hell <laughs> is happening back there? So that is like a barrier. Once okay. I finish the first labyrinth, it will allow it should allow me to pass, or I will gain something that will allow me to pass through it safely. Okay, I see. To the east and west are high mountain ranges, too tall for your sky ship to fly overhead. So much for sky ship! I know, right? You see a ravine that seems to be the only viable path towards Yggdrasil but it's filled with thick clouds. Visibility is close to nil in the ravine. To brave it with your skyship would be far too dangerous. You also see some kind of monument south of the ravine. You can barely make out a crest engraved in it. Hmm. Ah, oh, but there's another one next to the forest. Further south of the monument, you see a large forest. This must be the lush woodlands the Count spoke of. To the side of the forest is the same stone monument that was next to the ravine. It seems too coincidental to ignore. There may be some connection between the ravine and the lush woodlands. Uh, that's oh. a tornado. That is very much a tornado. Wanna get in there at that. Huh. What is that? You notice a small forest by the riverside. Cries of birds and beasts echo from it constantly. There are brightly colored fruits on the trees. Many animals seem to flock here to feed on these fruits. You grow excited to think of what manner of exotic beasts you may encounter in this forest. 
It's all orchins. Interesting. Let's see what this is all about. It has the same good music the other forest has. So sometimes they will change up the music slightly. Mm -hmm. Like this one, it has more or less like, uh, I guess a more subdued version of Lush Woodlands. Mm -hmm. But once we get into the labyrinth proper, that then you'll hear like the actual theme. I see. As you walk a narrow path in the small orchard, you sight someone up ahead. He seems to be a Tharsis soldier. Hmm, do you have any business in this lab of two? The soldier's so cheerful manner is apparent even through the armor that masks his features. The worst this place has is some, a few weak spawns, so this will be a breeze. I'll finish up quickly and hit the bar. The soldier seems dubiously confident for a man in a dangerous labyrinth. He leaves whistling to himself. I wish I could actually whistle. I can't. Never learned how to. Aww. Yeah. Then I will say that he walked away humming. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I like to hum. I can't go over that because we can't just jump over a little pond. Of course not. That could be a raging river. <laughs> Let's see. And there's a little, there's a giant deer on the other side. I think those are the fawns he was talking about. Oh yeah, the weak fawn. They're not weak. We're probably gonna find this man dead. Bambi's done with your bullshit. Bambi's out for blood. Uh-huh. You killed his mother, now you shall both die! Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Kill them! Oh, there's oh. like a butterfly. Ski just got blinded. No, <laughs> Ski! Oh, the tree rat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel Oh god. Oh god. We're getting tossed around like a salad. This will happen. Are we a little underprepared for this dungeon? Maybe. You're not doing too much damage, so I think we might be a little bit underprepared for this dungeon. In addition to the obvious thing- oh wow, you can't evade attacks while blinded. Oh, mm. Ski's dead. Ah! Oh! oh yeah, I think we're, we're underprepared for this dungeon. We might go into the lavender proper instead of this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, everybody's then dying I... now. No. No. Okay. Let's, Let's get, get out, out of here. here. Then we need to be saving soon anyway, because it's eventually it's almost time. Oh, yeah. If you want to do more after this, we can. Sure. I don't mind that. Oh, we can just... Oh, I'm glad that... 
Oh man, that hurt. Yeah, let's save. As you enter the inn, you see the innkeeper in the hall chatting with an unfamiliar face. Oh, you must be the Ass Eaters Guild? We were speaking of your hard work in exploring the small caves. All of us in the city are... Let me do the valley drill license. All of us in the city are grateful for your contributions, but the caves have many rare and desirable materials. The more of them you find, the more we shall flourish. I hope you don't continue I have to say. <laughs> I, I'm losing it. Ah, oh, have I not introduced myself? I am Cortita. Cortita? I think so. Owner of the Dancing Peacock. I like it if you visit it. It's a brothel. <laughs> they ain't safe. Oh, fuck. Oh, we can save it anyway. Yeah. I do not know why it defaulted to no. Sell me some plead. All right. So the good thing about this game too is that uh -huh. since it is a portable game, uh, we can go back and then let me. So, at any Can time... Can you, like, boot it? Oh, hold on. So I can just press start, and then we can make a save anywhere. And then it'll just end the game. Oh, I see. Okay, a, so a, it's one a of suspend, those. It's a suspend save. Okay, I see. So, uh, we can continue going until they yeah. get here, and then... Uh, once we're ready to save and quit, it'll just, we can just save anywhere. All right. But yeah, I think if we're doing anything, we need to do the dungeon it tells us to do first. Yeah. That was, ooh. There's a sky ship upon, which is unfamiliar to you. Its sails are bright red. And you see a new signal to the sky ship, and a woman appears on deck. She is clad lightly for one who sails the skies. There's a long sword on her waist. Hmm. I've seen you in the city square before. You're a fellow explorers, aren't you? It's good to meet you. My name's Wigan Wiglaf. You might not have guessed it, but I'm an explorer too. And you are Ah, so you're of the Ass Eaters. Throughout Throughout your introductions, Wiglaf wears a friendly smile. Wiglaf. By the way, do you happen to be have any black tours? I've been looking so long, but I can't find any. If you pick one up, will you share it with me? But you have no black Tauruses. From ah! what you've heard, the food must be delivered within two days. <laughs> Should you find a black Taurus at some point, you can present it. Possibly for some sort of reward. Oh. Yeah, she's. We're gonna. We're gonna fail both cute. of those. We are so gonna fail both of those. Oh yeah, but usually they end up like popping back up here and there. Oh, that's good. Ooh, ebony carrot. So a black carrot. I just wanted the food. I just wanted the souls. I just wanted the souls. I got my weapons! <laughs> Ooh, oh, a golden goose. I like that. Daddy, I want a golden goose! Ooh, red horned ox. Ooh. I'm getting the fancy food tonight. Yeah, we were popping off. As you look down, you see an amazing Kapok Grove below. 
the lush green leaves accept the sun's blessings with their whole bodies. You can practically hear their breath. Terrifying. Through your soul is soothed by the view before you on the windy plains, you must eventually leave. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sad. There's a Tharsis duck. Let's go over here. Have you ever had a duck? Ray Trout. Oh! Oh! There's one. Yeah, go back to him. You can find him again. Did he so, only need one, or does he need more? I think he needs, like, three. Okay. There weren't 3D segments in the three games beforehand, were they? Because it was a DS game. There were. Hmm. Because, uh, like, look as pretty as this. like Chris said, uh, instead of being on an airship in the mm -hmm. third game, you were actually sailing the seas. Ah, okay. Oh, you want to try the forest, or you want to, what you want to do? I think it's time. Let's go. A sizable forest spreads before you. The explorers of Tharsis call this natural labyrinth the Lush Woodlands. You see a stone monument at its entrance that looks clearly man-made. Who built it here? And why? You'll never know the answer unless you step into the maze. You steal yourself and begin to begin your explorations. Welcome to the realms. Flush them down the toilet. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, listen to it. I'm getting the flies. Oh, I love this! Good music. I know. Holy shit. Upon, disem upon disembarking the ship, you find yourself in a green maze of the lush woodlands at last. The beautiful scenery has a pleasant breeze that passes through, rustling the grass and the trees. Yet despite the soothing atmosphere, you have not forgotten this place has claimed countless lives. You resolve to trust your metal against the labyrinthine hazards once more. Good on you for saying the word labyrinthine. Oop. I guess I said that wrong. <laughs> no, 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 you said it right. Oh. I said it wrong. Labyrinthian? Yeah. Then may your journey begin, and may your fortune favor your guild. The path to Yggdrasil begins here. And may your ass. And now we're f officially playing the game! Oh! Hallelujah. We're finally playing. Oh, yes. Oh. You spy a mysterious pillar of light ahead and stop to inspect it. As you gain a gaze upon it, wondering what it could be, a nearby soldier addresses you. A curious thing, isn't it? That's called a geomagnetic pole. The soldier points to the pillar of light that stretches to the heavens. You touch it and you'll be able to go to and fro between the city and the forest in an eye blink. Don't bother asking around how it works, though. It was here when the explorers found the maze long ago. But it's handy. That you can be sure of. My advice put it to use and never you mind the particulars. I said that correctly. Yep. <laughs> Having finished talking, the soldier leaves his place seeming pleased with himself. You're left free to test out the geomagnetic pole or to continue your wanderings. 
I forgot that you can actually use that as a save point, too. And is that why the music, like... That's why it <laughs> reset. Right. A uh, tree! Well, I ain't getting through there. As you walk through the halls, you are arrested by a powerfully sweet smell and stop in your tracks. I have never heard of something... I have never heard of someone saying arrested like that. I know! That's, <laughs> that's kind of weird way of saying it. Uh, you are arrested by the smell of nature. <laughs> Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground and you will smell the roses and you will like it. It seems the smell of the sap oozing from the trees that form a wall in front of you. Fearing that the smell may lure dreadful beasts, you decide to quickly take your leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, look behind you! A beast! Ah! The game will actually do that. Well, we did that the f like the first time. Ah! Speaking of which, oh, these shit. There are two of them. Tree rats. Tree rats. They look like rats. There you go. That's one down. Beautiful. Level up. Yeah. This is what I need right here. The actual magic attacks. <laughs> the good shit. Let's see. Ooh. So I heard you like jazz. <laughs> Let's see. Bullseye! Death reigns from above! Mind Heal is now available. What is that? I mean, the source of... so, Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, you'll be able to heal more people at the same time. Yep, that's pretty good. That's a good good thing to have. Yes. I'm just a healer. I don't like attacking things. I would be the right mage. I would pro <laughs> I would probably be like an old school cleric then. I heal people, but I have a mace, and I club things to death. <laughs> this is my weapon stick. You can't be like me when I when I played D&D, I had a shillelagh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, triple kill. Oh my god. Damn, tree rides are pretty good. Well, uh, do we have a holy potion? No, we have to leave. Okay. Actually, oh, we can use the thing. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. This is probably why this is here. Please help. Friend is dead. Kill <laughs> him! Hmm. 
Your friend is dead. Ah ha ha. The shortest <laughs> day on record. Two hours. <laughs> it was only two hours. We're back. <laughs> Welcome back. I haven't seen any dudes yet that I like. There might be some coming up. I'm not really sure. <laughs> you never had to think about it. Not like particularly. I <laughs> what happens when you have a gay friend? Don't forget about the circle in the middle. I gotta get everything. Every single square. I swear to God. Now, in other games, uh, you do get, like, awards for mapping out the entire floor. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, when you play, like, Etrian Odyssey Untold 1, uh, mm -hmm. if you map out every floor, you actually have the ability to warp to the... Uh, beginning or end of any floor that you have fully well, I like explored. That. I like that. <gasps> oh boy. That's a lot. That should get us some good experience. Not enough. Let's, let's see. Oh. Thanks. La, 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 la. It's a fucking door. As you venture into the depths of the maze, you hear a sudden sound from a nearby thicket. No sooner have you drawn your weapons than a herd of monsters leaps from, from the underbrush. Uh-oh! Ooh! Rare monster! Oh, shit. What's a rare monster? Double experience. And, uh, special drops, if I manage to kill it before it runs oh. away. Oh! Well, murder it. In the face. Hit it. <laughs> you too. Yeah. All right. He murdered. <gasps> hey, I'm in the party. Whoa. Yeah. Is Maddie in there? Not yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Oh my we, god. We, we, we thought of like what personalities. So like Ski would be the swordswoman because Ski Yvona is a sword. Uh -huh. And I'm the, the healer. <laughs> of course you are. Of course I am. I'm a... Oh, you're upside down. <laughs> you're either about the healer or the like rogue. Yeah. Moogs, what are you? I'm the sniper. Oh! Which is actually not... Not right because he doesn't play any sniper ever. You're right. <laughs> You're not a bow guy, huh? Not usually. Fail rider. Uh, and and wait, what's uh? Who else is in there? 
Let me. Atora. Altura's what? Uh, he is. Uh, we have him as the tank. He's a oh, fortress. What am I? You Brood are. Master. You're a spellcaster. Spell ah, I thought you were gonna say that. Yeah. Makes sense. More like, what's Maddie gonna be? Uh, we don't know yet, but there are classes we haven't unlocked yet, so. So you know you're gonna get more characters or something? Yeah, cause uh, we can make up to thirty characters. Whoa, really? Yep. That's pray. You have pacified the monsters, but on reflection, something about them seemed unusual to you. <laughs> You expect that the shining monster you have vanquished is what they call a rare breed. Lovely. The rewards that can be reaped by subduing these monsters are many, and should not be passed up lightly. Okay, so we can do the 3DS save thing. Yep. Let me these just... games are like, they have a really cool system. I just wish that they, uh, the character art wasn't so creepy. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's like the only thing, is that the carrier art is awful. Mm-hmm. The backgrounds, though, look at this. Like, would you think that this was a dungeon in any other game? I mean, check it out. It's so pretty. The music's so good. Oh, it's incredible. It's Yuto Kashiro. Yeah. yeah. That is fucking best, really. I think yeah. it's even better in 5, but that's just me. Oh, tree. Oh, wait. But yeah, whenever you guys are ready, we can end this and move on to uh, near. Okay. Well, we're just. Uh, I'm ready. Um, I think Maddie's getting ready. Are you? No, I'm ready. Are you okay. Ready? Okay. Why you switch over? Let me use the restroom. Okay. Remember the same. The cloyingly sweet smell of honey wafts from the wall before you. Uh, oh God. You need fire or cuts or whatever. Oh. Oh god. Are you getting rocked? Kind of. <laughs> I figured. I <laughs> see. I can't hold you to Oh, just, uh, alter the, like, tank. With your archer. Dark is the little boy who heals. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you're all blinded? Oh my ah! god. Time to leave! Did I show up just in time to see you get completely fucking rocked? We've yes. lost before. We, we've died already. It's bad when you lose in these games. You go all the way back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to redraw mm -hmm. your fucking map. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Oh god. Just leave! Leave! Please! I, I can't escape! <laughs> no! <laughs> Well, we did last time we saved it wasn't too far, so like we're pretty good. But God help, <laughs> let me leave. Oh my God. Well, you could try finding. Okay. Only two. Oh my okay. God. Okay, okay, okay. Now you need to save before you're done in by insects. Butterflies. Yep. Seriously. Okay. <sighs> Okay. okay, so how does this work? Now we just turn it off. Okay. Alright. Wow, that was harrowing. A little yeah, bit. A little I, did, I didn't mean for that to happen, though. <laughs> would never mean for that to happen. Why do you have Federation Force? Why not? That's my dick. Serious. I just wondered. Alright, <laughs> let me get this switched over also, real quick. Also, he's planning to co-op it with me as well. so. Yes. Oh, I'd, uh, okay, okay. You know what? 
บวกถ